again. Because <laughs> it didn't save. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. New game again, yeah. I only trust my cats these days. Hey, hey, hey. And I will miss them dearly. But they will understand. I'm gonna have to play like through chapter one have. again. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango. I'm gonna say we were at this time. Down. <laughs> Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. House in the Woods. <clears throat> well, the intro is great anyway, but I won't be surprised anymore. Hmm. Sorry. Right. Long introduction, too. Takes about 30 minutes. That's what it should take, I believe. Game looks better this way in four three. Non, j'ai pas téléchargé uh, uploadé encore. The door is locked. Yeah, unfortunately, this game, like. You can like run this game if you want to run this game with smoothing or anti-aliasing. You cannot unless you have a 4K monitor because it's coded in a really bad engine. I wish it was coded in a better engine. I really want to play it. I'm curious to see the rest of the game. It's locked. Huh? What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me. Nice. It's 
me, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. It is a it is a scary game. But it seems to be Well it's not even like Think of it as a good uh point and click and like what could be a good David Cage game in terms of story. It doesn't have a lot of gameplay, but it has some good storytelling and it's extremely worrying. It's rated him for mature too. She only liked a highs. It is a key in your mouth. Alright, let's go. It's a point and click, but there's not a lot of like riddles. It's very unique in its presentation and mood though. And the soundtrack is amazing. So I'm excited. Except I'm playing through this intro for the third time because uh, the game crashed last time. Yeah, surprises will come once we get past the hospital. It should only take half an hour. Jump scare, yeah. Hey, Fuzen. But it's not a scary game in terms of. It's not like a survival horror game kind of scare. It's more psychological. It has some surprises though. Emergency power switch danger. It looks like there's a switch behind. And a strange machine, but we cannot do anything yet. Hey, Camel. You might all... I don't know if there are a lot of scary point and click games. I cannot remember. Some had some sort of power background, but. Like, I like Gabriel Knight, the first Gabriel Knight game, I love it. I've played it on the stream, ages ago. It's It happens in New Orleans, it's about voodoo murders, it's very good. Halloween Flash games. My corpse again. Another key. Body's too high, can't reach. Would take me hours to undo the knot. Not cool. And another locked door. <laughs> Grim Fandango is amazing. It was one of the last I game. can't remember this place. Am I lost? From the golden age of a one and click adventures. Okay, so I gotta follow this bird. Otherwise I would be stuck. I 
I kind of miss that. Like on PC back then, you had so many great adventure games. Like Sierra would do all the Quest series, Police Quest, King's Quest, and uh, then the other stuff, Gabriel Knight and whatever. You had Simon the Sorcerer, Kiranja, Monkey Island, Dave the Tentacle, This World, Full Throttle, The Dig, yeah. So much, so many of them. Okay, we gotta use the knife um, on the rope. Yeah, well, I, actually, we. Pl we <laughs> Back then, we uh, commented. We did commentary on a full playthrough of. Full throttle. Full throttle was really good, but it had some game design flows. Like. The motorcycle part where you had to steal weapons was really too long. Hey, Adam. Uh, this is uh, the Cat Lady. It's a really good um, point and click adventure game. That is pretty dark. I'm gonna save to make sure it doesn't crash again. I'm gonna call the save crash. It's about basically it's about a 40 year old woman who. Uh, doesn't believe in anything else, who is lonely and commits suicide. But somehow she doesn't just die, and this is. We're playing the intro right now. What happens after a suicide? Apparently lost in a deep world. And the intro is gonna thicken right now, because uh, we're gonna meet uh, an important character. So, a lot of dialogue, but it's pretty good. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But, I'm curious. Who do you think I am? I've never tried that one. I really don't know. Can't you just tell me? That's very much like you, Susan. You won't even try. You have given up on everything lately, haven't you? Why shouldn't I? Is there a great reward for trying? I didn't think so. Would you have tried if I had told you there was? Maybe. I don't know. Something that it's could pretty cool. change your life forever. Like... No, there isn't. There never is. And yet, some people do great things to find it. I'm afraid I'm not one of them. It's pretty amazing, like... The game doesn't have a lot of like game-changing gameplay uh, IDs, but the dialogue changes a lot depending on what you say. Um, no, okay. What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom, and this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. Yeah, Abyss. But you? are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me. You gotta play working Don't there. bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. I haven't read, watched, or played. The Walking Dead yet. What will happen next? Hey. It depends on you, Susan. 
Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. Oh yeah, I wouldn't play it's Walking Dead on stream. Out here. Actually, I wouldn't play this game off stream too, but I think it's a game not a lot of people would have the patience or mentality to play by themselves, so... If people can just... Please don't touch Watch this anything. game when I play it, it's I cool. Going to. You lied to the whole world. It's pretty dark. And you lied to yourself. <laughs> Salut, Père Chapier. A dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. This is still the intro, by the way. We are trying to understand what is going on with that lady and why we didn't die yet. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. Hey, Duck. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Inotus. Yeah, I heard the Stanley parable was great. I refuse to spoil myself uh, about it. And I won't play it on stream. Apparently it's amazing and it's one experience that shouldn't be spoiled. So we'll play it off stream. Hey, Mon Monk and Drunky. <laughs> uh, first playthrough, yes and no. I've actually played through chapter one already, but the game crashed when I was playing chapter two. So I'm just doing chapter one here. And uh, I save, and then I will actually discover the rest of the game when we'll be a little bit into chapter two. What do you want me to do? Yes, I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. All right. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan? Death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special, just like you. Only in a slightly different way. Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. 
They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open. And the older woman has an accent, yeah. Guard. That is French. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. Speedy you agent, know yeah. that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, nope. serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of you, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. So we'll keep asking a few questions so that first timers can get into the uh, story, and we'll go. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. It's a creepy I game now. I just want to vanish. I like creepy atmospheres, though. This is the very reason when I it's chose you, justified. Susan Ashworth. Not just I know how jump you scares. feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. Wait if until the intro is done. You it's will brilliant. Never feel broken again. Bisou. The the way the intro ends is pretty awesome. Um, are you expecting me to kill them? Are you expecting me to? Kill them. No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. Oh, all right, Munkin. I know you. you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference and the chance to save yourself. Hey, Nico. Okay. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. It's a great Indeed. game. I think it's you a great game. I love the first That's two hours why of I it. I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just. Yeah, let it's me on die? Steam. It has I've been for a week now. 
As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's blackmail. You can't do that. The I'm music doing is amazing. It for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. Hey. Okay, let's go. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Hey, Neko. Yeah, we're getting closer to the end of the introduction. And closer to where I stopped playing before the game crashed. Speaking of which, I'm gonna save again. Yes. It's you, Susan. Yes, I... Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. Yeah, this is close. I We're want gonna... you to understand that you can keep going long oh. after you count. This, this music is awesome. It's gonna start now. Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Fine. I'll do what you want. Excellent. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. Not regret this idea. Lights up. We're back in the house. Yes, but there is else that must be done. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I'm speaking of. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood. It doesn't sound good at all. See those candles here? Just blow one out and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. Then on your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much, just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Sorry. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Okay, we'll just go with it. Fine. I'll do that. Hey. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. When you leave my house, head to the field. That's where you should be. Goodbye, my child. I'm not going to be far. No. 
just coffee. I've never been. So we have to blow one of those candles first. Um, so just so you know, whatever candle you blow is actually le gonna lead to the same chapter. It's a linear game. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. Anyway, let's go with it. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. See how easy that was? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. Into the field we go. Sacrifice of soul was made. What the? How did I get back here? at this weird house. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Switch on. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? With the switch that's in there. But we cannot pull it out without with the bare hand, so we're gonna use the crowbar. And look at that. It's dark inside. So much blood around the hall. Let's go. Sacrifice of blood. And that was chapter one. <laughs> so good. So yeah, we pretty soon will be where I stopped playing. I cannot wait to discover more and be traumatized. In about 20 minutes, I guess, I will be lost again. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. 
I always wanted to be an artist myself. Have a good day, that little But death. it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patients are my canvas. But my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm uh sorry. I'm probably boring you. <laughs> no. It's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course. And go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be So we nurse. can... Yes. Tell I different things to well this guy. It it's gonna do a psychological... You want to check if I'm nuts. Uh, well, representation I wouldn't use that expression of ourselves but yes we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you so you can either decide also, to have a really complicated yourself, you know history there's always or not paperwork involved I don't These know how that helps or hurts themselves. you honestly Susan you have nothing to worry about this is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? But the cool I will thing is, all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? The cool thing is that we're not going to do it just now. We'll do it in several steps along the scenario. She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Or just say Susan. Susan. Hi, Susan. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. Hey, Toad. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Take care, Susan. Yeah? Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. The chatty nurse. You will learn to love or hate her pretty soon. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. I've played it. Tell you what, Susan. Up until Can I call you Susan? in about so anyway, twenty minutes. I shouldn't say then it, I won't know anything. You know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You doing what you've done, and her walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance, one in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, support. you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell him what I really think. Shut up! I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18-year-old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Uh, it's just been coded in a weird engine that is not used a lot. I just had the game crash. And I had not saved at all. That was kind of my own fault. During this chapter.
Bad dream. So you can try to ignore that girl, but ignoring her actually makes her speak even more. We'll just say it was her bad dream, we'll be honest about it. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woke anywhere. What was it about? I don't think it's prone to crash, but I suppose it can happen. Just make sure you save sometimes. We'll... Yeah, we'll just... We won't say everything. I can't remember. It's just like that sometimes, isn't it? You just have this weird emptiness in your head. The harder you try to remember, the worse it gets. Maybe it's better, though. Try to remember the good things. Hey, Plogo. Forget the bad <coughs> ones. At least for now. I get nightmares, too. I get them, and I can't wake up. Or sometimes I dream that I'm falling. Those are strange dreams. Because I think I like them. I keep falling, but I never fall, if you know what I mean. Never hit the ground. Never. No, oh, it's a Windows game. It's just made with a pretty uh, and familiar engine. <coughs> no, what don't care about the name. To me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... So we can either say we went to the weird field with the lady death and everything. We'll just skip that part. I woke up here and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home Chris until him. he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. It's more of a story-driven game than a real riddle adventure game. But since it's so different in terms of mood than other adventure games, I don't mind at all. It's pretty effective still. Okay, we'll just ask her a bunch about the weird stuff that we've been talking about. Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Chris, I... Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care, as long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, 
She left, and I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, so this Dr. X might be a bad guy. Don't laugh, okay? And Monk and Drunky, I've... I didn't play that much after this, I've... What do you mean? He smells... funny. I will tell you when I, I stopped know. playing. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. I didn't finish this chapter. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. What a weird guy. I haven't started those sessions yet. So... Be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. I don't know the back history of this game. So it's pretty interesting. So we know that Dr. X is a weird guy. Mind-reading, pervert bastard. And we haven't replied to his questions yet. So that's interesting. We'll see how we answer these questions later. Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry, Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, Yo, but I'd... Saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. Mm. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. <laughs> or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Maybe. Okay, let's go with How last long question. have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at You're going to play evening. soon, don't worry. You had a cardiac <clears throat> arrest in the ambulance. <clears throat> to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward because all the patients who come here want to die. <laughs> it's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? We'll start with a little chat here we about are. your childhood. Hey, I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. This is Dr. X. So basically, uh, he's gonna ask about my father and mother. Just to, de to determine if I have a problem with my childhood. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now. 
and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? I'm gonna go with uh, great dad. And then we'll put the blame on the mother. Yeah, I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. I Let's think that talk about your mother now. No matter what, what you say, both like? your parents will Would be dead. Would you care to tell me about her? So even if they're great, you will still have mommy or daddy problems. So let's say mother was horrible. She never cared about me. All that mattered to her was the booze, and never me. What I remember clearly from my early years is the image of her sitting by the window. A hey, maiden, Chinese. She'd stare at it for hours, smoking. My dad saw it all, of course, but he was unable to do anything about it. I think he just loved her too much to do anything. They argued a lot. Their fights always take place behind closed doors. It's one way of protecting the child from it all. But children always know. At least, I did. I remember every time they fought, I tried so hard to just go to sleep. But sleep never came. No matter how hard I tried not to listen, I couldn't stop. I just couldn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. Ace Glaster. Here we are. We're playing again. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. So yeah, this is pretty close to where I stopped playing and the game crashed. But I know the beginning of what I have to do here. So, I have this wristband with my name on it. Name, date of birth, hospital number. That's about it. I can check uh, under the pillow. <laughs> Nothing under it. Check the bed. I don't want to lie down though. There's a clock. That is with the needle stuck at 1008. There's a gloves rack here. Uh, I'm gonna take a lot of gloves. And I'm gonna take just a glove. So we have both options available. Yeah, basically the lady in the woods. Um, there's a sink here. I can turn all cold water, hot water. Basically, yeah, the lady in the weird lady in the woods that we saw during our death thing informed us that we were granted immortality until we defeat five parasites. So this is the medicine for us. We're on a lot of sedatives and way too much, way too many. Could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. So yeah, way too much medication. Not cool flowers. Chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. No way I'm taking him. I don't like flowers. I don't like flowers. Alright. This is the patient next to me. She's not around. 
her clock is stuck to at 11.40, which is kind of weird. Uh, let's check under the pillow, you never know. Nothing interesting. But anyway, this is where the second pa patient is. We can check her medication. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, okay, so. Her name is Anne Burden, 35 years old, taking lots of sedatives, long history of drug abuse. Top of it all, she's taking methadone for Erin withdrawal syndromes. There's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Interesting, right? So here's the hallway. Um, this is a discharge letter for the drug addict. Because she can leave wherever she wants to. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. So yeah, that woman at the desk is a real bitch. That much I remember. Obviously, I cannot take them. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry, are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? We have security people here. <sighs> Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? Well, just keep it cool for now. I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. Hey, Kazimia. So yeah, I'm gonna save again, and we're gonna. We we are very very soon where I stopped playing. No, ch not chapter 3, whatever. So that girl is a bitch. We're not even gonna talk to her. It's pretty easy to understand how she works. Mm, so... Okay. Hello? I guess I should wait my turn. Oh, she's using the toilet. Okay, we cannot go there yet. I suppose I have to speak to the bitch. Yeah, let's look for that cool nurse. Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Hey, Reese. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every. I remember what I have to do. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? But in about 10 minutes, I will be discovering everything again. So nobody knows about the friendly nurse, which is kind of weird. Uh, we're gonna ask for a phone call. Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. Okay, we'll just ask if we can go home. I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just let you go like that. What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? Hey, Vegeta! <laughs> this is a pretty interesting game. Well, game. If you've never heard about it, it's very dark. 
So here's the drug addict lady. As you can see, she's stripping. I talk to her even though that's pretty useless. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. So that um, girl will only speak yeah, to her. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Yeah, so basically if we don't know a mother's name, uh, we're fucked. So we'll just say we I don't know don't for know. now. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna save here and we're gonna... We're gonna do... We're, we are very close now. I know how to solve the next thing. But after that, we're done with uh, where I was. I'm gonna show you what happens though. If you don't do things right. I don't think there is a... There are game overs in that game though. So yeah, we have medication pots in here. I'm gonna search for this and take one of those. There's a note. Please stop writing messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining eye level of cleanliness due to student absence of our cleaning staff, we ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Well then. The mirror is cracked. So there is a glass on the side, but we cannot take the broken glass. We can run the hot water on though. If we let it run for a little while. Something should be appearing. But it, it isn't right now. I suppose I have no choice maybe but to... Yeah, to just do it. We can use the toilet and show you the wee wee. Hey Clint and DG. Mm, apparently the message is not showing. Oh, wait. There we go. See? E I hell. Anyway, uh, there's also a bell for assistance. If I press it with no fucking reason. Yeah, I know, Nicole. <laughs> it's funny. So I ring the bell, right? Someone and is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? So you you're gonna say we feel a bit. Uh, I'm feeling a bit woozy. I know I'm up for drugs. You look fine to me. No, I, I'm really I not feeling French well. First. I just Fine. wanted to show. I'll call the doctor for you. And that actually but I can't makes sense to do it. Busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? So the funny thing is, I can give her my name, or I can give her. <laughs> the name of the drug lady, but I think she knows. We're just gonna be asses about it. Mind your own business. I'm not taking anything. I don't think so, darling. Now, you really don't have to lie. 
We're only trying to help, you know. Now, let me have a quick look at your name, Band. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, all right? Let's refuse. Are you insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Okay, we are prepared for this. Jim, can you come in, please? It's you pretty... must be kidding me. Um, I don't. I don't know if I'm going to take the same I'm medication. Then I'm going last to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? It's going to be pretty trippy. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. See, and now, somehow, in the drug world, we see the rest of the finger thing. So, uh, mother's name is Sheila. Sheila. And welcome to drugs. Just gonna lie down. All right, here we are. We're back again. The drugs have worn off, and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Okay, so we know the mother's name is Sheila. So, let's talk to you. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, hey. sweetheart. I don't think she cares about what's going on here. Do you know how to get out of here? We're not supposed to get out. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. Well, you missed the intro, Vegeta, unfortunately. Uh, but the introduction is pretty strong. <coughs> Basically, uh, about a 40-year-old woman who tries to commit suicide, feels very lonely, and uh, meets a very strange lady that basically prevents her from dying and sends her off on a win mission to kill five people parasites and somehow we get resurrected in this hospital I would yeah we're gonna go with some chitty chatter feel like sharing what's your name there was nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. And my treat, my red stuff, it's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could 
Just one more time. Shut up. But it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize. You can know. You know. I'm just gonna. If she likes lying to herself, maybe she'll just give a wristband. How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> but that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure. Yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I, I just really want to go home. Hey, Chelsea. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. Okay. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What, What? do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. What the fuck? Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um. Okay. I'll see what I can do. In the world of dreams, when I was in Drugland. Okay, let's. What exactly hear more is about this it. little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it. I drink it down. No, I'm not taking hits. Goes away right now. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> It's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. <laughs> yeah, calm down. I'm dying. I think probably we're all dying. I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. Who I said? didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him. Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. What? I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. Okay, so that's pretty interesting because I know how to basically um, sabotage the toilet, which means keeping the. Uh, The nurse busy, but it seems that I would have to go back to Drugland to get her stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna screw around with the uh, nurse first. Hmm. Hey, pie. Okay, so what we're we gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, open the toilet. You don't need to do it again. Fantastic. We're gonna throw a shitload of gloves in the toilet. There we go. And we're gonna... Now well, let's just do a mess. Oh, I can take a shard of glass. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, whatever. She won't know. She won't know because the fucking toilet is gonna be a disaster. Flush it. Uh, okay, use the bell. 
It's like, oh, nice. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's Good blocked. Job. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. <coughs> Just give me a minute. Oh, yeah. it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Yeah, fun with that. <laughs> Oh boy, hey pie. So, uh, we're gonna grab the discharge letter. Uh, apparently, I got it. Yeah, okay. Uh, what about the folders? Yeah, you, we don't need them. Where are the nurses, though? I, I still need the wristband from... Uh, I cannot go through these guys. These guys are just gonna be assholes. So I guess maybe I was supposed to get into Drugland. There's nothing in her pillow. I'm gonna take a shitload of gloves again. Um... Oh wait, I'm pretty worried though, because now I have this glass shard. So... I'm gonna... Get the rough treatment next time, no doubt. Oh wait, can I open... Can I just destroy the pillow with the glass shard? No. Not then. Maybe I can hide it under my pillow, yeah. We'll see about that. Enter. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, doesn't seem I can. Well, I guess we're gonna be quite fucked. Do you have this medication pot? Not sure what to do with it. I'm not too sure either. Well, I do have the authorization, but I don't have her name band. So it wouldn't make sense at all. Um. So do I have to be nice with those idiots? It wasn't you who did it, was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. Hey, I just job. hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. Not too sure it will be. Yeah, I was thinking about modifying my drug chart, but I don't think I can. What's in the bin? I already got one. Uh, can I get rid of this? Okay, no. So we're gonna get the hardcore drugs. Oh shit. I'm gonna save first. I have a bad feeling about this. She left the sink on. This is uh, brilliant. Okay, let's just use the bell for nothing. And she's gonna see we have the glass shard. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I pressed it by mistake. Sorry. Oh. Alright. It happens, I guess. I'll see you later. 
No, no, shit. I wanted to get a... <laughs> that trolling. Yeah, we can try we're gonna try to be extremely nice about the drugs. Maybe then someone is coming. We'll get the nice stuff. The red pill. Have you rang the bell? Is that We don't have the see? same treatment as her though. I could fake my name, but she would see on my bend that I am Susan Ashworth and not and whatever her name was. I'm feeling a bit woozy. Uh, I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Yeah, we're just gonna be very nice. Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will help you relax. Why are you saying things twice? That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. We've been a good girl. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. She said I had to go where the nurses are. So we're just gonna try it. What the fuck? The narcotic heart. It's filled with the drugs. We get. Holy shit. I'm gonna use a glass shot on it, I guess. Red liquid is gushing out. Okay, I need to put that shit on my medication pot. Okay, we did that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna back go back to the room. Guess we did what we had to do. Whew. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Exciting. Um, can I just pick up something I've already used? Yes, save that. Can I just do chapter 2B or something? Okay. So we have what she wants. I will be back. I'm just gonna make some more coffee. Cause I'm gonna play two minutes of hats. And we'll be playing this. I'm playing blind right now. Again, it's pretty exciting. Uh, so be right back in two minutes.